What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm gonna show you how to jump on the bar. Listen. All right, so let's get started. So last video, I showed you guys how to start freestyling with some first basic moves. Now I'm gonna show you guys a new move that you're gonna be able to add into your freestyle. I'm gonna show you guys how to jump on the bar. But before you begin to learn this move right here, it's really important that you pass the requirements in order to start learning this exercise. You don't wanna start learning this exercise prematurely and then you're gonna to have to be struggling through each progression learning how to do this because you don't have the strength or the technique prior to start learning this. You wanna focus on just your technique when you're doing this move. You don't wanna be struggling while you're trying these progressions for the first time. So that's why it's super important that you pass the requirements before starting to learn this move. And the requirements are at least 10 muscle ups in a row before starting this move. You wanna be able to do at least 20 straight bar dips in a row, and you wanna be able to do at least 20 burpees in a row. And if you can do all these requirements comfortably with perfect form, you're ready to start learning this move. So I'm gonna start you guys off with the very first progression to learning this exercise. And to learn how to jump on the bar, we're gonna take it down to a lower bar, specifically if you can find some dip bars. Because the bar in front of us is gonna come in handy. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you guys is how to start popping up onto this bar. So first, you have to learn how to pop. So before I break down this first move for you, let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what I like to call like the Superman dip, if you will, or the explosive dip. So the way to do this exercise is you're first gonna start off on the top of a straight bar dip and you're gonna lower down to that 90 degree angle, have this bar right here, right along your hip line. From that position, you wanna have your feet in front and together, close together in front of the bar, as well as your head looking over too, basically sandwiched on the parallel bar like this. You're gonna lean your weight forward and as you lean this weight forward, your legs staying together are gonna swing back until your body feels like it's flat. Once your body feels like your legs have swing back and you're flat, you're then gonna lift your body straight up by doing the dip. So it's gonna look like this. Now when you come back down, if you come back down and you do not control the negative coming down, you're gonna find yourself flying underneath the bottom, kind of like this. Whoa. So if you're doing something like that, that's an indicator that you're not controlling the negative movement. And controlling the negative movement is super important when you actually start muscling up and jumping on top of this and trying to come back down from the top of that bar. So once you can do this move properly, with perfect form, at least, I would say, 10 reps consecutively, you're ready to move on to the next progression. The next progression is gonna be this same move, but you're gonna tuck at the end. So this is what it's gonna look like. Got it? One more time. If you guys are just starting off doing this move, you can also just do them one at a time. And then come right back down. But you definitely wanna control this movement right here. So just like the Superman dip, as soon as you swing your legs out and you feel your body getting flat, that's when you're gonna start to press from your waistline. As you start to press up and your hips start to go higher, you're gonna tuck your knees into your chest and you're basically gonna form like a cannonball at the top and hold your arms straight out, locked out. You wanna make sure that if you can, try to hold that little hang time for a second and then try to come down, use the negative to come back down and control your body. So like I said, to first start practicing, you can just do it one at a time and come back down. But eventually to make it to the next progression, you wanna be able to do it staying on the bar, staying on top of the bar consecutively at least for 10 reps. So it should look like this.
And that is how you do that movement right there. So once you can master this exercise, you're ready for the next progression. So now the next progression we have is what I like to call bar pop. Now this is probably the most significant thing you're going to learn when it comes to freestyling on the bar, especially if you want to be dynamic and explosive. This is how I literally pop myself up from the bars and how all my movements on the bar, all the explosive movements I do stem from this technique right here with what I'm about to show you. So this is how I basically get these explosive pops off the bar. If you've seen me jump on the bar, do these 360s, uh, do these back claps and etc. these other movements, they all stem from this technique I'm about to show you right now. So we're gonna do the same thing as the Superman tuck straight bar dip, except that once we get to the top and we're right about to finally tuck, that's when we're gonna explode. We're just gonna push, and instead of pushing and holding, we're gonna push and let go. So we're gonna let ourselves catch that air. So the first thing I want you to do is just feel it out, try it, get that technique down. Make sure that you're not swinging and popping too prematurely, because if you are, you're gonna go that way instead of straight up. So you want it to look like this, but you stay right on top. So practice that. So if you guys are noticing something, the higher my hips go, when I do this, the higher my body's gonna go, the more distance I'm gonna be away from this bar, the higher your explosiveness is gonna be. So you wanna make sure that when you swing out, your hips are leading that movement to go up, not your feet. You don't wanna banana this move when you're going up. Nothing like this, that's not gonna work. We just have a couple progressions left, but once you've mastered this, you can do this move 10 times in a row, perfect form every single time, you're ready to go for this next progression. This next progression is actually getting used to, getting comfortable to getting your feet up here, jumping on the bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do that explosive move. Same thing as the progression we just did before, but except when we get to that highest point, we're just gonna try to tap it with our foot. Get comfortable with getting your foot up and getting it to that level. So it should look something like this. You can literally just kick it like that. Try the other foot too, so you stay comfortable. Right? So once you get very comfortable with this, the next movement that you wanna do is you wanna make sure to jump on top. When you do this move, you wanna actually move forward when doing this move. So as you pop up off the bar, you're gonna be popping with a forward momentum. That's super important when you wanna get on top of this bar. You cannot just pop straight up or pop and move back. It's never gonna happen. You have to be going as if you're trying to jump over this bar, like you're trying to jump over a fence, for example. So we're gonna swing our legs straight and we're gonna come right up and we're gonna pop our feet. Make sure that your hips go high so that your feet have enough room to clear. Once your feet go right over, you wanna basically pop off and push a little bit forward and reach your hands for the bar that's right in front of you. That's why doing this in front of a dip bar is really important. So let me show you guys really quick what it should look like. Pop, grab, boom. So as you can see, my hands were out and they were reaching out for this bar. Your, your hands are, are gonna automatically be in the right spot to catch your body. And you're gonna jump on top of this bar perfectly because of that positioning and the form and technique that you're using to perform this exercise right here. So one more time, guys. Make sure you pop extra high with the hips, push a little bit forward as you come, and have your hands out and ready to catch the bar in front of you, right? Once you can master this move right here, jumping on top and reaching forward, you're gonna eventually be able to jump on top, reach forward, just like me, you won't have to necessarily touch and reach out for the bar. You can just begin to stand up. So, you guys wanna start jumping on and trying to get used to jumping on and not needing the bar in front of you. You 
You could even try to mess around with it, try to stay once you get on it, try to stay longer than usual. And once you get really used to it, of course, like I said in the last video, freestyling is kind of like expressing yourself too in a way. So you can always put your own flair to it. You can always put your own style to it. What I like to do is pop it and then reposition my feet at the top. Well, you get the idea. So basically, master this move right here. Once you do, you've basically learned how to jump on the bar. All you need to do is just learn how to do this after you do a muscle up, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so once you've been able to completely master those progressions right there to jumping on top of the bar, now it's time to start applying that after you do a muscle up. So what you want to do after you've mastered those exercises is to start all over again doing those progressions from the very beginning, but right after you do a muscle up. So for example, the first progression that we learned was the Superman dip. Let's do that right after we do a muscle up, like this. You wanna start being comfortable with these movements on the bar right here. So it's very important to start practicing your reps, doing them consecutively. So once you've been able to master that one, the next one would be the same thing with the bar tuck. Superman dip, bar tuck. Once you've been able to master that, you're ready to start popping off. Now when you first start popping off, you don't have to do a crazy pop like that. In fact, it's smart if you just do a really small pop, do like you're doing the same thing, let go of your hands for a second, right over that bar, so your hands do not miss the bar, and then grab again, and really control the negative coming down, like this. So, as you can see, those are very small pops. You're eventually gonna get the hang of it, you're gonna be able to hit it harder, hit it higher, get your hips higher, perfect the technique, and you're gonna be exploding a lot higher. Even if you can't explode a lot higher at the beginning, don't, because you wanna really focus on mastering the negative and the come down, because if you don't, your shoulders are gonna be really weak, you can hurt yourself coming down with all that weight coming down if you don't know how to control yourself to come from the top all the way back down to the bottom. So really practice those negatives. All right, so we're almost there. So basically, we're perfecting this movement. We're really taking our time with it because you don't want to mess this move up. Of course, you're jumping on a bar like seven feet in the air. You really want to make sure that you've perfected every single step along the way so that 100% of the time, you land it the same with perfect form. So once you guys get the hang of that, you've learned the explosive muscle up, you've mastered it up there, you're now ready to actually muscle up and jump on top of the bar. So remember, this movement, when you're jumping on top of the bar, you have to be moving forward. So if you follow these techniques and you master them, you should be able to jump on the bar just like this. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if this video helped you at all, slap a like on this video. It means so much to us and it helps us get our videos spread around YouTube and seen by more people. Don't forget to comment and share it with somebody that would also find this video helpful. I know this video was slam packed with a lot of progressions and a lot of information, but if you guys want the official guide, the official technique guide, as well as full access to all our workout programs, daily workouts sent straight to your phone, then become a member right now to Fenex.com and start getting in the best shape of your life. Not just looking strong, but actually being strong. Download our Fenex app in the app store to make sure that you take our workout programs with you everywhere. And get ready because we're about to unleash the Fenex 2.0 update, which our app is gonna be looking completely different, completely brand new, with complete brand new programs. And it's also gonna have a social media aspect so you can share 
all your accomplishments and all your progressions with your friends and like-minded people in the Thanks community. We've been getting so many testimonials, so many transformations, things people have been trying to learn for years, like the muscle up and the handstand. People are learning every single day in the matter of weeks, sometimes even days with our app. So if you want those same results, make sure you download the Thanex app. And guys, I just uploaded my first video onto my personal Chris Heria YouTube channel. Go over and check it out to hear the story about how I started everything, how I started from the very beginning, and how I continue to manifest the reality around me. So go ahead and check that out. I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe, slap a like on there too, and comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday, where I'll be showing you guys how to muscle up 360. Peace out. Love you guys.